hoping and praying that Chipotle would add queso to their menu. In fact, it is actually the most requested dish that is not on the menu at Chipotle. And now it seems that those wants and wishes could be granted because people can now officially order queso at the Chipotle Next Kitchen in New York. So the CEO kind of explained why it took so long. He said it took so long to get queso in the restaurant because it was difficult to make queso that meets their standards. So they have really high standards when it comes to their food. But it seems that they figured out the recipe. People who have tried it says it doesn't have that fake cheesy flavor, which I know some people love. I'm not the biggest fan of. They say the texture is a little bit gritty, but they said it has a nice kick. So do you go to Chipotle a lot? I do not, and I did not know about this whole push to get queso. Oh, I was totally. Are you a in fan of queso? It, queso is just melted cheese, right? What is queso? <gasps> oh my gosh! I don't know. Okay, queso is like. I'm from New Mexico. Queso is a huge deal is in it? New Mexico. Okay. My sister could eat. I mean, it's insane the amount of queso that my sister could eat. Yeah. And so. So other than melted good cheese, queso, what's in it? I mean, like there's vegetables, oh. obviously things that add a little bit of a kick. So okay. Yeah, it's not like nacho cheese. Oh, all right. right. Well, at least to me, it's say, not. Just get some cheese with. To me. other people, I don't know. Maybe on this side of the country, it's completely different. Comment on our Facebook page. Tell us what queso is to you. Um, yeah, if that know. looked like queso to me with little chunks in it uh -huh. and like. Oh, it Sounds looks so delicious. Good. Oh, yes, and I go to Chipotle all the time. Oh, you do. So I'm okay. hoping that it like works. So they're just testing it out right now. So all I'm right. hoping that it. You know, spread. I'm gonna have to check this queso out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, man. I'll I make know. you some. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna. I gotta learn how to make it. Though. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out. Okay. So yesterday we had a story about a bridesmaid who still wears her 20-year-old dress on a regular basis. But it got us thinking. What are some of the craziest things bridesmaids have been asked to do before the big day? So you've been a bridesmaid, mm -hmm. is that right? Yeah. Okay. Um, a couple times. And were there any Crazy like odd requests? requests? Mm. I can't think of anything. No. Mm -mm. How about you? I was a bridesmaid one time for my sister's wedding. Uh huh. And nothing. Yeah. Nothing crazy. Just wear the dress and show up. Wear the dress, <laughs> be quiet, and be supportive. Right. That was it. That was my, yeah. That was my job. Nothing odd. Mm -hmm. So doing some research, we found an article from Allure magazine that says brides are demanding their maids to lose weight, <gasps> and in some extreme cases, get plastic surgery. No. Yes. Bride's no. telling her friends that they need to lose a few pounds, and one even demanded her bridesmaid to cosmetically fix a torn earlobe so she could wear chandelier earrings for the wedding. Oh Other demands goodness. include no tan lines, aka no bathing suits with straps before the big day, a breast reduction to better fit a dress style. Hold on, is the, is the bride paying for this? Uh, <laughs> uh, not always. Um, tattoo removal and or concealment and hair extensions. Like it's getting a little bit crazy here. Uh, I mean, hair extensions maybe, they're not cheap though. But None speaking of, of hair, cheap. we um, even found an article from a bridesmaid whose friend asked her to dye her natural red hair for the wedding so she wouldn't draw attention. Apparently the entire bridal party is brunette. So the bride thought the red hair would ruin the aesthetic. Now the bride did offer to pay for that. This but is you have absolutely natural, insane. Natural red hair and your friends like, "Listen. Yeah. I am the star of the show for the day. Not the star. Yes, the star. Dye your hair." No. Like, what? No. Yeah. Th these people would not be my friends. Right. You know, like you accept me for who I am. If I have tattoos or whatever, or red hair or black hair. I know, like I thought we were friends. That's why I'm your bridesmaid. Yes. Is because we're friends right. and we have, like, I had two bridesmaids. One of them was my sister. And like, get this if I don't fit into the dress, you get a different dress for me to wear, okay? <laughs> I know. That I look good in. Yeah. Okay? You don't tell me to lose weight? Yeah, no. Mm -mm. That is so wrong. What's wrong with people? I don't know. All right, anyway, yeah. a 12 year old. This is great. 12 year old is traveling around the Commonwealth delivering thank you cards to first responders and the military. This is what we want to talk about. This yeah. Emily Fincham. She's from Sussex County and she gave notes to police and firefighters in Danville, Pennsylvania, and Halifax counties. The cards have positive messages in them. Fincham says she hopes to become a canine officer. It's good knowing um, that younger people actually have that interest and want to be 
in law enforcement. I did all the state police in Virginia. Right now, I'm just trying to get as far as I can. I understand that. I understand. <laughs> Fincham is selling bracelets to help pay for the cards. And if you want to help, you can head on over to our website, WSLS.com, for more information. You know what a, a handwritten note means? Not like even nowadays? Nowadays, yeah. I mean, just to receive something in the mail that just has a nice personal right. note on it. I mean, think about that and just what that means to those who are receiving that. That's so sweet. I know. And to come from a young lady. A young lady who that. thinks about that. Yeah. That's great. All right from something great Prepare to yourself. something that's going to make you cry. All right, Get the is, tissues ready. Get the tissues, all right? So this is a great story. So a man was shopping at a grocery store. Check this out. When he giggled seeing a little girl wearing boots that were just too big for her. So when he ran into the girl and her mom at the checkout line, he said, I like your boots. Well, the girl smiled from ear to ear and went on to explain that the boots belonged to her father and that today would have been his birthday but he was killed last year in Afghanistan. So her mom let her wear the boots to feel better on such a sad day. Oh my gosh. So another gentleman in line pulled a cupcake out of the pack he was buying and he gave it to the little girl and told her to celebrate her daddy with a cupcake every year because he was a hero and she should be proud to be his daughter. And of course, there was not a dry eye in line. And when Joanne, our producer, was telling us this story, mm -hmm. she was crying. Then we started all crying. Oh, God. I know. Oh, so there's a, there's a sad story for you. That's so yeah. sweet. All right, if it's good music you're looking for, look no further than the Harvester Performance Center in Rocky Mount. Coming up next week, the Jerry Douglas Band takes the stage Tuesday the 18th. And then Amy Lou Harris makes a stop at the Rocky Mount stage on Tuesday the 20th. They have Sam Bush playing on Saturday the 22nd. And then Catch a Sister Hazel on Sunday, July 23rd. To get those tickets, just visit harvester-music.com. Be sure to check out their upcoming lineup that includes Bruce Hornsby, Graham Nash, and Lee Greenwood. Great.